Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm going to be telling you about some big books. So this is a monthly recommendations video and if you don't know, monthly recommendations was created by Trina from Between Chapters and Kayla Rain and this topic for this month is big books as I said. The first big book that I have to recommend to you is a series of big books and that is the Change series or the Emberverse series or whatever the hell it's called by S.M. Sterling. This is the first book, Dies the Fire, and it follows um, an apocalypse happens, all technology stops working, and people kind of start living like it's medieval times again. It's really, really awesome. We follow a lot of really, really awesome characters and some of them are seriously badass as fuck. And also, if you're pagan, since I'm pagan and everything, like, you would really be into this book because there are a lot of, like, Wiccan main characters and the representation is actually pretty good and it's really awesome. So, yeah, this whole, um, this is a really long series. I mean, there's, like, an original trilogy and then there's, like, a, um, a spin-off, like, series and then a spin-off series to that. The next book I have to show you is also a series and that is The Hyperion Cantos by Dan Simmons. I have talked about this book in several videos already so um, it's really hard to describe because each book kind of has like a little bit of a time skip. It's about something slightly different. Like the first two are about the same thing and then the second two are about the same thing but like and they're they're like a hundred years apart. Um, but yeah, basically the first book starts out with six different people going off, or seven, I don't remember, going off on a pilgrimage and basically um, one of them is going to get what they're actually trying to get and then the other ones are going to die. Next I'm going to talk about a standalone and that is Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. This is a historical fiction that follows a family that um, in the medieval times and um, stuff that happens to them and stuff that happens to some other people. It's really, really amazing. It's full of great characters. It's really well researched and all that stuff. And it's like almost a thousand pages. Um, so it's really, really fun. Oh, and it also has a sequel that's also really good called At World's End, I think is what it's called, or The World Without End. I don't remember. <laughs> I may be spouting like Pirates of the Caribbean movie titles by mistake, I have no idea. But point is, the sequel to this is also very good. <laughs> Next is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, and I was not completely sure what Brandon Sanderson book I wanted to talk about, whether it was going to be this or the Mistborn trilogy, because I've read, those are the only Brandon Sanderson books I've read so far, but I ultimately decided to hold up this one because I haven't talked about it in a while, and it's a really freaking good book, and um... It's not as, like, info dumpy or anything as Mistborn is. Um, it's really, like, since it's a standalone, um, like, it still has really good, like, world building and everything, but it's not super in-depth like the Mistborn trilogy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and so it's, so if you're, like, just getting into Brandon Sanderson, this is actually a really good one to start with, I'd say. It follows two sisters named Siri and something else. I don't remember the older sister's name, but she is supposed to go and be the wife of the God King and basically like, it's like a shitty situation, but she's been prepared for it her whole life. She's totally cool with it. But the father has like a minor like freak out right at the end and kind of goes, oh nope, I'm sending your little sister instead. Um, so basically like Siri ends up going and she has pretty much been the only sibling out of the, out of their like four siblings, um, without a like role to play or anything. Like she, she doesn't have to be the heir. She doesn't have to be the one to go marry the God King. She doesn't have to become a monk. So um, so she thought that she was like, just like, oh, I get to do whatever I want to, but nope, the father decides, no, you're going in your older sister's stead to go and marry the God King. And so she gets there, she's really freaked out, she's like, what the fuck am I doing? And, um, everything is not as it seems, and there's all kinds of intrigue, and, like, she can't trust anybody. <laughs> Finally, I have two series that I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about because you guys have already heard about both of these series pretty much, like, a lot. Even if you haven't read them, you've probably been talked your ears off about them. So, but anyway, I still wanted to be a person, um, 
stressing how much you should read these books if you haven't. And that is the Song of Ice and Fire series and the King Killer Chronicles. Both of these series are amazing and I'm like dying to read the next installment in both of these, but they're not out and probably won't be for a very, very long time. Um, but anyway, they're really, really good series. Please read them if you haven't read them. Like seriously, make this like the next thing you read. I'm not kidding. So anyway, those are the big books that I wanted to share with you today. Um, let me know what your favorite big books are in the comments because I can always use more recommendations because I love big books. Um, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!